Hello everybody and welcome back to Thornton Farm. So the first thing we're going to do this week is pay off the next section of our loan. This is the instalment for the combine harvester and the sprayer. So it's only £5,000 a week. We have 17000 but I'd quite like to have a bit more than that because it's not exactly safe money. If we suddenly had to pay a lot of maintenance fees then we'll be soon in debt. So what we're going to do first of all is just sell one trailer load of the fermented silage. We do have some. I think it was actually the grass silage which we got off field number three, which is very close to the pig farm. Now this week we are going to be doing some pig farming. We need to feed them. They also need some water as well. Uh, but yeah, priority is just get a bit of money and pay off the loan. We're going to use the wheel loader. It is a Volvo wheel loader, I think. It's something which I, I don't really use. We bought it, but it was only ever used once. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, pretty sure it is a Volvo. Uh, we'll shut the engine off, open the door, and we will get it started up. It has a buck rake, which has got a very large capacity. I think it's 6,000 litres, so very impressive. We should be able to load this trailer in about probably four loads. It's not a very big trailer. Could have put it a bit closer. There we go. So this is something you can do in Farming Simulator 17. As we discovered last week, or this week actually, yeah it was this week, in the fact sheets, fact sheet 14, we discovered there was a silage leveller. Wow. He almost fills it. That was... Well, actually no, it looks like it's fuller than it is. It's actually only 38% full. It might take a bit more than one load. Uh, roughly three loads, I think. So here comes load number two. somebody said yesterday uh, that I sounded like I had flu. No, I'm <laughs> perfectly healthy. Hopefully it stays that way. I have had hay fever for a lot of the summer and it's actually gone now but uh, yeah most of the summer I have it. Now the autumn's here it's not quite so bad but I do still suffer quite a bit from it. Even in the winter it doesn't fully go. Obviously it's not hay fever from hay but still spores of something in the air, not too sure. This will fill it to the top and then we'll be ready to sell it. When we do sell it we're going to have to take this with us because at the other end I don't think I have a conveyor. So this is the only solution to selling it. There we go. Uh, we could keep some on here, but I'm not going to because you have to fold this up to go on the road. But yeah, technically we could do, but we're going to do this properly. There we go. So I'll fold this up. It neatly folds up into itself. And yeah, if we put the tractor on follow me then we'll be able to control this better. Now, I've been told before, transport like that or like that sort of thing. Uh, hmm. It doesn't really tilt down properly. I'm going to go with this. I know it is possible to spike a vehicle, but we're quite high here. So, yeah, hopefully that'll be okay. Uh, but either way, somebody picks me up on it, so I can't really win. But it doesn't matter. Right. Shut the door. 20,898 litres. That should get us quite a long way. Will he make it around the corner? Yeah, I think it will do. Good. So, yeah. Tip it in the silage pit here. 
then immediately load it up again and put it into the anaerobic digester. That way we'll get our money and I don't know how much it'll be exactly but I would guess it about £30,000 hopefully. And here we are. Let's hope the tractor doesn't power slide too badly or in front of a car. Uh, oh no, bad timing. No! Uh, you crazy driver. Ah, uh, yes, we need to go here. Before it gets too confused. Right, so here we are. If I just stop the machine here, We'll unfold the buck rake, stop the tractor there, we'll jump out, then we should be able to tip this into the pit. Although, I have put a placeable heap here, so we'll put it to some use, it should work well. Hopefully. So, here we go. It's a bit closer to the cell point, if nothing else. Oh, is that? It's emptying out the chute. Is that a bit quicker? Yes. That is better. But <laughs> I think it is actually. It's still trying to empty out the chute. Weird. Oh well. Doesn't really matter, although it is slower. We'll leave it to it. And the thing about this is you can't just sort of go into it and scoop. You have to just sit there and wait for it to fill up. Right, here we go. Let's see. How much money will we get from one load? I have got my hopes set pretty high. Here we go. Yep, it's going up quickly. Very quickly. £12,735 per buck rake load. So, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, roughly £30,000. Fill this up again. And the third load obviously will only be like quarter of a, a scoop, but it's still something. Even if it's £5,000, that will cover our loan for this week. We really need to keep up with those repayments, otherwise it's going to come back and hit us. The interest rates could be astronomical. So this should finish it off, hopefully. Yep, there we go. And then we'll be ready to work on the pigs. They have been really neglected. Terrible, really. There we go. We finish off with 50,387 litres. That is pretty good. So we're going to take this back to the yard. We are going to need it again though for the feed mixer, but it might not be today. But yes, it will be required. Let's hope the tracks can manage it this time without crashing. Look left, then right, and then left again. We seem to be okay. Perfect. No accidents on this farm. Yep, field number 11. I think that one is, yeah. That one is probably not going to be touched again in this series because we've already worked on it twice. We've had two different crops in there. It's time to focus on different fields. So, yeah, we'll just leave it there in the past 
obviously if we were continuing this we would obviously put another crop in there but we're not so it's just going to have to stay that way uh, but yeah other fields do need work put this back in the silage pit and then we're going to require the quad bike to drive over to the store to pay the loan There we go. And the tractor can actually park in here too. Fantastic. So there we go. We'll shut it off, jump out the cab, and shut the door obviously, make it look nice and tidy. And we're gonna go over to the quad bike which is parked in the main yard over here. Hmm, we probably should shut these barn doors in case it rains. There we go. It is parked very close to the yellow bale trailer around the front. I think it's the best method of getting to the store quickly. And it's fun to use as well, so we might as well just use it. It's very economical. I don't think I've ever refueled it and it's used about a litre in the whole time we've had it. But at the end of this we're going to be £50 worse off. So this isn't all for the good, this is uh, not a good thing at all. But being able to do it this way means that we can use the bigger machinery and obviously the more expensive machinery as well. So I'm going to stick with doing this method on different maps too. It's just I have to remember to keep up the re repayments, otherwise it won't be realistic. In fact, I think I probably did miss a week. So, technically we should owe 10,000, but today we'll just do five. Here we go. We're going to be 5,000 pounds worse off. Repay 5,000. There we go. So, what we need to do is go back to the yard. We need to assess the situation with the pigs and then go from there. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they need everything. I think they need feed. Oh, oh. They need feed, water, straw, everything. Could I have hit a worse time? Just look at those trees. It's incredible. They've grown so quickly does look very impressive. I probably should have put a different crop in there after the first crop. I guess we could still do that, but we'll see. Whoa! Crazy driving. And we'll stop it here. Ooh. Oh, we... we We've appeared in the barn just by getting off the quad bike. Weird. Right, so, uh, yes, we need to go on to here. Let's take a look. That's a lot of pink, but we don't own any of those fields. Yeah, these animals do need work, but not today, because the priority is the fattening installations page, the beef and the pigs, or the cows and the pigs. Uh, they need everything. Well, the, the cows actually have 21 litres of silage, which is okay. Well, for 10 minutes. So everyone needs everything. Uh, slurry is being produced. We can use that for the future. But the pigs are going to require at least some silage, some grain, some water, and some straw. So we're going to crack on. We'll do half and half, so half today and half tomorrow. I think today we'll just give them just silage on its own and probably some water. Then tomorrow we'll be able to give them total mixed ration and straw. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, what we need to do is go over to where we've just been actually. Exactly the same setup as before. Tractor and trailer and the Volvo wheel loader. Eggs! 
Lots of eggs. Let's just pick up the eggs. Have I ever sold them? I'm not sure. Yeah, that one's always there. Even some in here. Yeah, so did, did we sell any? I don't know if I've ever sold any eggs. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I've gone past the page. Eggs in backpack. 51. Yeah, I don't think I've ever sold any. So, another day. Possibly tomorrow we'll do that. So, if we put this here. And then jump into the Volvo. They are going to need everything because they're very hungry beasts. They are not going to just go lightly. They need everything they can get. Especially as this is their only feed. Usually you'd have the root crops, you'd also have the silage itself and the turtle mix ration. So they're going to be really going for this. They need lots and lots of it. Basically we'll fill the trailer and split it half and half. load number two and it takes 61% out the first out the third load so I have to make sure we do that there we go that is load number two we've got plenty of it I'm surprised that we've got so much of it we only did one field this is from cutting one field of grass it's incredible I wonder if it would be quite so productive in FS17 I wonder if they'll be as generous or if it's going to be harder to do this make money from silage and it will probably leave about 39% on here thirty-eight percent fair enough so that will be all the silage they need so we can put this back again that's what I love about it, it's so fast to load up with the buck rake. The wheel loader is so big. We'll head over there. I'm surprised they haven't died because I have lost my animals before. I don't know if it was like a glitch or if they actually do disappear after time. But yeah, I neglected them in Colbra Park Farm and they weirdly just disappeared overnight so they either died or yeah some malfunction and it glitched and they disappeared not really sure why has anybody else have ever had their pigs or cows disappear in the night in FS to be fair actually I haven't had it since so maybe it was just a one-off I'm not sure but this is the place we need to go to We've got the cattle shed and the pig shed. And it is as simple as tipping it on the ground in the middle of here. So 50-50, need to make sure of it. Oh, okay. It's only going to take 14%. Uh, they don't need much at all. What will the cows take? Oh, I've probably loaded up too much, but it doesn't matter too much. We might buy some more animals. Ah, oh, they took even less. Oh well. Uh, I guess what we could do is sell this in the future. So if I put it under cover so it doesn't get too wet. Got a perfect shed over here. Or we might just use it here in the future. go and yeah that basically means that we have to run back to the yard because we're not teleporting not on Thornton Farm this is the super realistic let's play where we have to run saw mod and we can't teleport and stuff we have to actually walk or drive to the next vehicle uh, so yeah fun we can jump the field though that is the benefits of owning the fields around the farm we can cut corners The final thing is the water and 
Yeah, the bouncer is over there. Usually I use the uh, telehandler. But as we've got the Massey Ferguson here, we might as well use this. It's a very, very dirty Massey Ferguson. It's been running the sugar beet harvester. That is the reason why. Yes, we should probably not wash it with the door open. Oh, because otherwise it'd be a very soggy Massey Ferguson. Uh, so it's possible, if you stand still, you can wash the tractor the same way. I've always known this, but some people say, oh, don't, don't walk around it, don't bother running around it, just stand like this. But I like to animate myself and make it look a bit better. We're cleaning things properly. There we go. Um, it does look much better clean. You can have it too clean, but you can also have it way too dirty. Oh, we could have used the compact tractor. That would have worked just as well. Oh yeah, um, opening the back window is something I don't do very often. I probably should make a habit of doing it more because when you're hitching up it can be easier to see that way. It probably is a better idea to shut it, but first of all, mustn't forget, we do need to fill it up with water. So the water fill point is just around here. Uh, the problem with this thing is the size of it. It's not very big. Like on Naveswell Farm Extended, we're now using a much bigger one from the Universal Tank Pack, and it is very good. Considering it is, I think, the smallest trailed Bowser in the pack, it's still quite big. 10,000 litres, whereas this is, what is it, 6,000? Yeah, only 6. So, in fact, I'm amazed it's as big as that. It doesn't look it. So, it is better to uh, get a mod you're doing the cows and the pigs and everything because they do require a lot of water if you've only got a few like we have then yeah this is probably okay but even on this farm we could do with a better one I actually know of a farm in real life who has got a Massey Ferguson which they don't own anymore but basically I can't remember who it was that was driving but someone was driving and uh, they were on, I think it was dual carriageway and I think it was a lorry that flicked up a stone and it hit the windscreen and not unlike a, a car where it's laminated it just hit the windscreen and the entire thing shattered that would give you a real shock so yeah they had to drive the rest of the way I think unless they stopped, I can't remember uh, with no windscreen at all because it was just shattered and all the glass was in the bottom of the cab uh, yes, this doesn't go in here. There is an area around the outside. In fact, we'll, we'll do the cattle first. They will most likely require more. Uh, but yeah, just here. As a lot of people like it when I say it for some reason, not sure why. Uh, we need to watch the bullcock go up. There we go. Oh, it does go up quick. We don't have many animals. That is the reason why. The more you have, the more it takes common sense really and finally the pigs I think we have more pigs so they do take more uh, kind of contradicting myself there let's just check yeah we do well I've got a lot more actually we have 50 pigs and only 12 cows I think they're cheaper pigs are cheaper this will take quite a bit of water yeah going down or up much slower but we're still left with 44% and I know the perfect place for this the cows in the lower field they drink water like there is no tomorrow so we're gonna have to give it to them they'll really appreciate it we'll head back this way I think if there was one series, model series of tractor or tractors, which I would like to see in Farming Simulator 17 as a mod. Although there is already going to be Massey Ferguson's in the game as standard, I don't think there's going to be any of the you know 5400, 6400 series, and they are my favourite tractors. Uh, right, yeah, I think this is the way. I've done this so many times and forgotten. Yeah, 6400 series from. 
like 2004-ish to 2010. They're my favourite. Gotta be. They're so nice. Nothing wrong with the new ones. I do like them a lot, but I don't know. It's something about the look. Uh, I'm just basing this on the look from the outside as well. This isn't anything to do with the the efficiency or the reliability. Just judging it by looks, which is not a good thing to do. And I think a lot of people do that, which is a big mistake. But yeah, from looks, I prefer the 6400 series to any other. But everyone has their own opinion. They had run it dry. It's incredible. It doesn't matter how much you give them, they'll drink it in no time. So that is, well, it's half the work I wanted to do. Uh, the rest is going to be done in the next episode. So we'll just take it back to the yard and I think we're going to call it a day. It's amazing how time consuming it is just doing this, just driving tractors to and from the animal farm. We're not really doing any distance, but yeah takes a lot of time. This is why I, you know, I always think that being, if you're a livestock farmer, then, well, you should be really highly respected because like, you get up really early and you finish really late and you work flat out every day, every day of the year because you've always got to tend to the animals. It's not like you can just say, oh, I've been working hard recently, I'm going to take a day off. Because, you know, like the cows, they're always going to need milking and they're always going to need to be fed and they're always going to need to be mucked out. So yeah, I really do appreciate these livestock farmers. I know a lot of people don't, and I'm not saying you don't, obviously, but like some supermarkets, not going to mention any, but you know, they're just selling milk off like it's nothing, like it's tap water, and it's just not. <laughs> so much effort has to go into it, but I'm not going to start a story about that because, oh, it'd gone forever. But uh, yeah, thumbs up to all you farmers out there, especially the livestock farmers. Uh, so until the next video, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and we will return tomorrow for most likely Thornton Farm, but possibly Sandy Bay Multiplayer. We'll have to see. Be a bit of a surprise. So yeah, see you, see you again soon, and uh, yeah, bye for now.